Hey garden friends, welcome back to Flower Patch and look who I'm with today. It's Janie from Dig Plant Water Repeat. I have to do it slow because sometimes I, I mess it up. I know, and everybody <laughs> does, right? <laughs> Didn't think about that when I was naming my channel. <laughs> it's okay, it is it is easy to remember, it's just saying it fast. I know. <laughs> so I am here, now when I did my big iris dig up earlier this week, I said I was digging them for a garden friend and that was Janie. <laughs> so I brought them over here to her. It was worth the drive. Thank you. Because she gave me a garden tour, which, and it's nice and sunny and warm here. Right. It's still too cool at my house. Yeah. See, she, <laughs> sa she says, oh, we're cooling down to the 40s at night. And I'm like, oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm freezing. Yeah. <laughs> I sit up by the fire pit, you know, <laughs> and huddle close. But I brought them and we are going to plant them for you yes. in her beautiful new garden. Mm -hmm. So. Let's get rolling on planting iris. Great. So we are at the front of my garden. Here, I'll turn. You guys can see where my house is over there. And I have this raised garden bed right here. Now, we're not planning on keeping this raised garden bed forever, but we are going to keep it for maybe like a year or two. And then I figure when I have to divide all the irises, I could just move them all to another place. But I thought this would be the perfect spot to plant um, these irises here because irises do like well-draining soil. And this is a raised garden bed, and this is even on a little bit of a slope. So it's going to be the perfect conditions for these bearded iris. So I have all Pamela, look at this. I'm so excited about all these. There's so many options. Then my mom and I did go and, um, to the garden center and I found a bunch of these that I want to plant as well. Then my friend Margie sent me some of hers from her garden. She says these are purple and they have a yellow beard, Ooh. which is exciting. Yeah. yeah, so we'll have to see how they, those do. So thank you, Margie, for sending those. So yeah, so I got a lot of irises. Um, since you are the iris queen, would you show us how your technique for planting them? Sure. Point to be in a spot you want one. Okay. So, you gotta mess with my, you gotta deal with my shadow. Here. Okay. <laughs> we can see. Yeah. So, I will till up the soil from around. And you can see it just doesn't have to be very deep. This is maybe two inches, three inches. And then I would take my iris rhizome. And if you want to cut the roots back a little bit more you can yeah, for some reason I didn't cut that one uh, leaf off but I tried to have them ready to roll for you <laughs> and then I make a little area for the roots to so be on the hill yeah on the hill and then you bear it you see how it's still mounted up yeah so if you get a lot of rain or something it will drain even if something runs. now that's what I plant when I plant among plants that need more water okay and that way they get the good drainage they need, even though the others will get more water. Okay. Now, for you... Because this is because this is sloping, right? Well, for you, because you get really hot weather. Oh, A okay. lot of people, you leave the very... You, like me. Yeah. Cooler zone, uh, or cooler weather. You leave the back showing. They like the sun on their back. Okay. Because it's not too hot, but you get too hot of sun. So you always just make sure the back ah, is covered. Just a little bit covered. The roots, yeah. Okay. So now if they would still have the longer roots on them, and you'll notice in the ones you bought yeah. that the roots are shorter. Cut yes. Them, cut them real short. Yes. And that promotes good root development when you plant them. Cutting the roots short. Let me make sure I can see yeah. this. So here's some that I bought from the garden center. And so they've cut the roots that are coming out. It goes like this. They've already cut these short. And so what Pamela is saying is that that helps root development. I didn't know that. Yeah, it stimulates it when you get them in the ah. soil. Hopefully you don't have critters. I see a hole there. So I have um, ground squirrels. <laughs> okay, yeah. And they're all over the place. Well, can I give you one hint? Yeah. Don't use anything with bone meal. Oh, really? It, it attracts them. Okay, yeah. good to know. I think my starter fertilizer has bone meal. Yeah, be very careful with oh, that. Oh my goodness. Okay, good to okay. know. Okay, so... That's easy. Yes. That is super easy. Your turn. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so how far apart do you plant them? Um, I give myself, and we've got quite a few here. I give yeah. them plenty of space because they'll fill out. Okay. They'll fill out. And um, Right. Do we have a label on this one? No, that one is not one that I had a label that is for you. Let's see. This one's Huckleberry Fudge. Ooh, let's do This that. one is 
It reminds me of root beer floats. Ooh! It's got the brown edging and the middle is white. Yeah! So, yeah, I'll put a picture up right color. now. Cool, yes. Yeah, so. okay. You'll have to write these things down for me. <laughs> oh, I gotta send her Huckleberry Fudge here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bug you. I'll say, <laughs> give me this picture and give me this picture. Okay. Here I am trying to take over. I gotta sit back. Okay, so there's my mound, right? Mm hmm. And then I take this. Now, should I cut these or? You can if you want to. Okay. You can. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it the right way. Just like an inch? Yeah, go ahead. And it'll keep it easier to, you know, be able to place it. Yeah. Okay. And then. You just gotta squish it down in there. Yeah, and then cover it up so it helps anchor it. Okay. So those of you who live in cool areas, you wanna leave the back showing. I gotta get a little sun protection. Correct. Perfect. And then water it in. It'll yeah, and if you need to, in. you know, there you go. Behind it. Now, yeah, once it's watered and nice. it'll settle in, and they will start making roots right away. Right away. I yeah. set some last week on the ground, and they'd already started putting oh roots. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> That's they wanna grow. Oh my goodness.
garden friends, we planted all of the iris. We had a great time doing we it. We did. We talked pretty much the whole time. <laughs> we did. She's about my life. <laughs> yes, yes. But it was fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah. And it's great to get with a garden friend and do stuff. And thank that you, you enjoy. so much for this. Like I am. Um, I am so happy that I can follow in your footsteps with your beautiful iris collection. I'm just so excited uh, about yes. it. Yes, and I, they'll do great here. Yeah. They love this climate. I've gardened in it before, so I know they will do beautiful for Janie, and I can't wait to see them bloom. And when she comes to do a video, when mine are in bloom, she can pick out some more colors if she would like. I would like that. Thank yes. you. So, we got that on camera. So Yes. <laughs> Hold me to it. Hold me to it. Now watch the gophers go through and kill them. I know. Oh, well, at least no, I, had I had a reserve. I had a reserve. Do you really? Yeah, right here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can come back and get some more. Yeah, you're good. You're welcome anytime. <laughs> all righty, friends. I will see you in the next video. And make sure to go and see J Janie's video of all of this. I'm sure she did a better job than me oh, stop <laughs> <laughs> we had fun yes Anyways. we did we're so. off to lunch now which is, yes you know the important things <laughs> it is we worked up an appetite yes all right <laughs> i will see you guys later